Welcome. Thank you. No, not you. Oh, to another episode of my cave building channel. Well done, man. Thanks, pal. Now that my cave is almost done, it's time to start exploring new hobbies. Like building an earthen uh, statue, for example. So, is it hard to make? Nah, of course not. <laughs> Just follow me back to the beginning. First of all, I'm going to need a base or some kind of pedestal, a stand to hold the statue in place. I came across this thing, the perfect pedestal. Yeah. <coughs> oh, how about that? Next, I need some kind of model that I can copy, like this for example. So now I'm looking for some scrap metal to enlarge the stand. Something like this. Hey, how about this? I'll use some metal wire to tie this on there. Well, it looks like the stand is now large enough and strong enough so we can attach some wire mesh to it. And I found some thicker wire mesh at the scrap yard. Nice and sturdy. Let's fill it up with straw. Just stuff it in there. Time to add the head. Yeah. <laughs> Helmet. So, Mr. Knight, you ready for Cobb? I don't think so. I beg your pardon. Oh, sir, yes, sir. That's better. Well, I'm going to wet down the straw a little bit, and then it's time for Cobb. I'm glad I have a strong base, because I have to apply quite a bit of pressure. If you do get pieces of straw sticking out, just pull them, like that. Try to stand still, okay? But I'm cold! Oh really? Okay, let me hurry up, alright? Okay, thank you. Better. <clears throat> okay, almost done, buddy. Close your eyes. Uh -huh. I can't see! Yeah, I know. But you're a statue, you know? Oh. Statues can't see. You know that, don't you? Oh yeah, okay. Okay, hold your breath. <laughs> and you're all done. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Well, now that the first layer is on there, I'm gonna keep adding more and more cob till I get a nice shape all over. <laughs> Although the cob is still wet, I can keep adding layer after layer, so it's starting to look really nice. Man, I really thought this was going to be easy. It's really hard. The human body has so many things you have to consider. The shoulders, the back, the butt, elbows, the way he holds his arms. So yeah, it's really not that easy. <coughs> really? Thanks, man. He says I'm doing a great job. Thanks, pal. <coughs> Make sure you take your time and don't use too much cob or this might happen. Hmm. Too heavy. I should have thought of this earlier before that arm came off using straw, of course.
example, although it's not all completely done yet, I'm going to start wiping it down with a wet cloth. And this way you can create a more smooth surface. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Well, now you've done that, all the separate pieces start to blend together. Looks a lot better. And any odd places or odd parts are going to show up. And once I have finished the arm, I'm going to start scraping parts off and add details. That's going to be so cool. The only thing is if you add something, you have to add it everywhere. And look at this sword. It's disappearing. Well, I guess it's time to bring in a little bit of detail. Well, as I'm working on the details, I find uh, this tiny trowel quite helpful. And uh, also I'm looking at the shape of my own hand and that helps. With the tiny trowel, I've added more cobs, so everything is more 3D. Well, I think it's time to do something about this helmet. Well, it sure is a very dusty thing to do, but it starts to look really nice. Okay, okay, cut it, cut it. I still think he looks more like a, some kind of crazy biker. What? I was just kidding, man. Where are you going? Come on! Always collect all the cob that comes off, because you can reuse it. And now we're down to the final detail. I would like to have the Maltese cross right here. Well, I have to admit that my aim for perfection is almost driving me nuts. So I'm just going to leave it like this. It's good enough. As you're doing your scraping and your fine tuning, a lot of dust collects on several places. If you blow it like this, it all gets in your eyes. So I'm using a dust blower, just a simple pipe. Works perfectly. <laughs> Well enough with the details now, I'm going to wipe it down with a wet cloth one last time except for the helmet and his sword. Well buddy, in a few weeks from now you will probably be nice and dry. Let's give this guy a coat. A coat of boiled linseed oil. Warm it up just a bit. Use gloves, stinky stuff. And then just paint away. This will protect our guy from the elements. It will waterproof it. Just soak the whole thing. You can't go wrong with this. And use a smaller brush for places that are hard to reach. There you go.
Well, that makes up for code number one. Just let this dry for about a day or so. Well, after two days, it's time for code number two. Now I'm doing the second coat. It's not as porous as the first time, so I'm using less oil. Normally I would dilute it with uh, turpentine, but I'm afraid I'm gonna get cracks. Don't be afraid of using too much. It's not possible. Well, that's it. Let's come back in two days. Find yourself a nice spot in your garden, near your cave, dig a hole and level it with sand. Add a thin layer of sand. And now we have breaking news. We moved our knight to his final guardian place. Look at that. <laughs> oh, much better. Well, it turns out he weighs at least 100 kilos. So I have to secure him well in the ground because he is kind of wobbly. Great project. Well, I hope I have inspired you to build one yourself. And remember, every man needs a man cave. Every man cave needs a guardian at the gate. If you can't find one, you build one. Thanks, pal. <laughs> <laughs>